folks, how we doing? I uh, haven't posted for a couple of months uh, I've just been down to work and having a bit of a knee injury So I've not really been doing much over the last wee while So just been busy with working, life in general So I'm in the van, took a wee run up to Glen Shee But I can't go any further because the snow gates are closed So I'm parking up for the night in this lay-by uh, I was going to do a hill walk up by the Cairnwell tomorrow, but I mm, don't know if I'll get up there, so it might just be a, a van camp bike down the road in the morning. So I was going to make a video about um, we're into the heart of winter now and how people kind of keep themselves warm in their uh, vans or car camping guys, how they keep warm in the winter. So anyway, I'll get to the van set up and I'll go through a couple of things that I've got. And hopefully maybe help some of you out um, Give you a wee bit of an idea on how to keep warm in the winter So catch up with you in a bit Right so that's us, we're back in the back of the van now um, That's me, the bed and all set up um, Aye so, talk about how to keep yourself warm It's minus 2 outside now And it's supposed to drop down <coughs> Excuse me, it's supposed to drop down about minus 5 during the night So it's going to be chilly overnight So the most obvious thing I'm quite fortunate because I do have this uh, Night heater unit here this is actually a 5 kilowatt, it's a bit overkill for the size of this van, but I got it at a good price. And that's a fully self contained unit, it's got the gas tank built in, and I can adjust that pipe up and down or take it off and adjust the, the flow of the hot air. But the thing with that is it's too hot, and I never sleep with that on all night. I only put it on to take the cold air off the place. Once I'm in the bed, I'm absolutely fine. So, uh, but obviously, a lot of car campers or some van people don't have them in their vans. But um, they're definitely worth it. Um, if you can get one of them for your van, definitely worth it. So the next thing I've got here, I've never actually tried this because I got it at the tail end of last winter. It's actually a 12 volt um, heated fleece or heated blanket. It's not a, it's not a electric blanket that goes under your mattress. It's just a thing you maybe on top of. I've never actually had a chance to use this yet because. As I say, I got it towards the tail end of last winter and just the way things worked out, it wasn't cold enough to use it. So, <laughs> I think I'll have a wee try at it tonight, see how it goes. And I'll get a wee update on this in the morning, um, as I wake up. So that runs off 12 volt cigarette lighter you can see there. Now, fortunately, I have a laser battery and a split charge relay fitted in this van. So I've got separate electric, so I don't have to worry about draining my battery um, using that for any prolonged, prolonged period of time so as it is saying this, the instructions if you're using it off a car battery to keep your engine running which is not very good <laughs> um, but if it's just to take the cold air off and let you get into bed and or just to keep you warm in an emergency it's probably worthwhile but as I say I'll give a wee update on that in the morning see how it goes um, and another thing which is pretty basic but it does the job the hot water bottle this is what it says in the tin just fill it with hot water boiling water well it's not meant to be boiling water but hot water and just stick it under at your feet or wherever you want it <laughs> wherever you feel the cold and I mean that, that they things hold the, the heat for about 7 hours so they're actually really good I mean, for the sake of a fiver 10 quid get a bigger one they do the job so that's my kind of methods of keeping warm. Now I do have another method and I'm in the shed or if it's tucked away in some of the boxes underneath the van but you know that the little gas stove I've got, um, there's a thing goes on top of that, uh, it's meant to convert it into a little heater. Um, I used it once up in Glen Co last year when it was like minus 5, minus 6 overnight and it's it done a job. And the reason I use it because I forgot to fill up my diesel tank. <laughs> so I, I ran out of diesel for my night here. So, as I say, it was minus six, minus five, minus six, whatever it was. And it done a job. It just, but the only thing with anything with gas, you can't leave it on all night, obviously. And it's quite, you can't have a open plane in a van. It's, um, you need to watch what you're doing. But I always keep one of the windows open a little touch anyway. But, goes without saying, fire extinguisher. And, can't see it in the back there, but. Oh, there is it. There's a carbon monoxide detector in there, I don't know if you can see it, it's too dark. 
Well, I'll have a carbon monoxide detector and a smoke detector. So, and as I say, fire extinguisher. So, you've got to keep all, keep all options. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up just now. I don't know, I was going to go up and do one of the hills up at Gwenshi in the morning, but if these snow gates are closed tomorrow, I don't know if it'll get up. So, this might just be a wee camp out tonight and back down the road again. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll catch you always in the morning. I'll let you know how it goes with that little blanket behind me. morning well as you can see it's absolutely beautiful sun's out it's minus four and I had suns in my face here so I had a great sleep last night that wee electric blanket thing was spot on just put it on for maybe half an hour in bed then it was be nice and snug uh, and I just put the night heater on when I got up this morning because it was freezing so what I'm going to do the road looks as if it's open now I've heard traffic going up and down but um, we're about maybe six miles away from the ski centre, so I'll maybe take a wee run up, see if we can get parts somewhere. Uh, I'll take a wee walk up Glass Mall or somewhere like that. Not Glass Mall, the other one, Carn Easter. And head back down the road and get my dinner. So, catch up using a bit. Hills are looking absolutely stunning with their snow coats on. Hey, right, a wee update, I was just talking to a local guy there, a 4x4, I don't know if he's maybe a farmer, but he said the snow gates are still shut up at the Gearnwell Pass, so I mean, that's the road. It's still only 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't know, I think there's been a snow plow or a gritter up yet to kind of open it, but if they're shut, it's shut, there's no point in going any further up, so I just kind of scoopered my wee plans to go for a wee hill walk, but I'm just looking up towards the Cairnwell, I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro, but it's covered in cloud anyway, so it's clagged in, so probably wouldn't get much of view, but it's looking stunning, absolutely beautiful. Winter in Scotland. Ah well, it was a good wee overnight trip, so I got to try out my, <laughs> my wee 12 volt sleeping bag, so, uh, sleeping, uh, sleeping bag, uh, electric blanket, so that was quite good. But it was good to get away in the van again for another wee overnight, we'll be out for weeks. So, I'll wrap this video up, no point in going any further, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, if I don't upload another one between now and the new year, have a Merry Christmas everyone. And thanks for watching my channel over the past year, and stay safe and we'll catch you next year. Bye bye now.